I got a Korg DS8 the other day. Turning it on for the first time. Um, this is supposed to be a competitor to the DX7. Welcome to Synth World. This is like OJ Simpson uh, writing a tweet. Hello, Twitter world. So let's see what Synth World sounds like. Um, I'm excited here. Yeah, I'm not really sure Synth World sounds great these days. Um, it says piano. It doesn't sound like a piano. Uh, these sounds actually sound really strange. I'm going to try hitting a few other buttons, see if it makes more sense. It sounds more like the uh, green dude from Cuber. The guy I bought this from said he put a brand new battery in, and he did. He did a lot of hard work there. But this thing needs a sound restore, so let's figure out how to do that. This is going to force you into a world called SysX, and you're going to need to get a SysX librarian, and you're going to need to find the stock files online to fix this So thing. it's pretty cool because you can change patches pretty quick with this method. First thing you're going to have to do, though, is you're going to have to get the um, function settings on the Korg, right? You're going to have to uh, go to section 9 to uh, make the data transfer, but then it says exclusive is off, so you're going to have to press 8, and 8 is going to make you uh, select exclusive on, and then you're finally going to have to press 4 to make the um, internal memory non-write protected. Now, once you've done that, you can go to your computer and get a six library and download that file I was talking about. Um, just type in DS8 uh, stock files. You'll do that. And then you can uh, execute the sound and off you go. You just basically um, play the sysx file and you now have sounds that sound like a keyboard again. Now, this is supposed to be a piano. It sounds more like a banjo. So I think, I'm sure we'll do another video where we look at how uh, the DS8 actually sounds. Is it any good? I think it's actually, like, first impression, not terrible. I do like the display. It seems like it's very easy to get around it. Um, but this was not a very popular keyboard. Um, so if you have one, you know, you probably have pretty lucky. But if you're finding one uh, for sale these days, it probably has a dead battery. You're probably going to have to use the steps that I talked about on this video just to get it to where we are today. And then you can explore some of the um, more fun elements of uh, 1980s FM synthesis made by Korg. So if you like this video, do um, keep listening. I'm going to go through some sounds and, and play around a little bit. Do like and subscribe. I am uh, certainly going to be making another video in the coming days to talk a little bit more about uh, my first feelings about the DS8 and not so much about how to like make it sound like a instrument and not like a crazy noise machine. All right, see you later, Synth World. Thank you.